Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to GameStar TV. I've been uh, calling the playoffs the business end of the weekly uh, Overwatch League that we have here. But this is the business end of the business end then because we're into the grand final and it is old foes, untitled spreadsheet and uh, Chiefs Esports Club going up against each other. A uh, little bit of a change though from the first time these two teams met. This time round, oh, uh, this time round, the boys from a Chiefs Esports Club are um, second seed instead of uh, untitled. Uh, your casters uh, once again for this matchup are Bobby J and All G. Uh, Bobby J, do you want to take it away? Thank you very much, Crassus, and welcome back, everyone, to GameStar TV's coverage of the Zowie GameStar Overwatch League. We're in week two. We're in the playoffs here on a Thursday night. I love the playoffs. We've got the grand final match between Untitled Spreadsheet and the Chiefs Esports Club, and I've got all G and Mix05 here with me as well. What's going on, boys? G'day, brother. What's up? Watch, mate. You excited for this game? I know it's a rhetorical question, but I'm going to say it anyway. Are you excited? No, no excited at all, mate. There's no way. No, of course there's I'm excited, mate. It's going to be great. It's going to be really good seeing these two teams come up against each other once again. Uh, spreadsheet just getting uh, uh, spreadsheet getting the upper hand over them last week. So the Chiefs will be looking out to set a point, say that they're still worthy of getting that number one spot. And, um, sorry, yeah. Nick. Sorry, I was going to say, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments um, Chiefs have made to um, best the untitled spreadsheets. Because I think in the previous weeks, it didn't look... I mean, it was close, but it didn't look as close as I thought it was going to be. So I'd like to see Chiefs do something a little bit different. And of course, I think last week they had Rep playing, who only really is plays a lot of Farah, plays a lot of um, Soldier. So hopefully we see some different picks coming out of Katie, who's replacing Rep, or well, Rep was subbing for, for Katie last week. So you're rating as Rep as their best player? Oh, that's just me staring him up. If he's like, <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't play enough. He, he's really, um, he's into his career and his, and his real life and his personal life. He's, um, he wants to be successful in that, as well as uh, the online gaming realm. So he doesn't play as much as he'd like. So I think he's still um, getting um play time on on other characters still uh with um ori playing tonight who's ori subbing in for Do you know um Mike? it's uh dorky Jin or something isn't it Dor yes Dor that's correct dorky? Dorky. Yeah. yeah dorky who's normally their flex player um but yeah ori seems to be yeah, he's doing all right uh, he went a little bit too aggressive on the defense of Hollywood, I thought, but um, apart from that, he's, he's picked up tank pretty pretty well. As we see the full lineup though here for Untitled Spreadsheet with Yuki, the newest pickup, who's from the, uh, the team that used to be around known as the McCreans that were hovering around in the top 10 for a while before the players dispersed into other teams. Yeah, Yuki, Yuki was one of the really good players on the McCreans. Obviously, um, not playing anymore, but he's here on the side of Spreadsheet, and from what we've seen, he's really enjoying his time here. So, I mean, credit to him, and hopefully he'll play on for many, many more weeks. I think um, Zellogs is also from that same team, the McCreans. Yeah. Does anyone confirm that? Yeah, he is from the McCreans. <laughs> yeah, as well. So, they had a couple of good players. I know Solus, um, he was a... Bit of an FPS god back in the day. I think he's lost his touch a little, but um, he was playing on them as well. So I don't know if <laughs> he's joined another team just yet. But. Well, you're going to look out for that, mate, because he may be coming gunning for you after you're throwing down that ball. Uh -huh. No, I think it's like... Uh, we'll take you back again to natural selection again. Uh, he was definitely top, top one, top two players in that game for a long time. So he has the potential to come back. Now, I've also seen Death Dog around as well. I don't know if... Many people remember him from Counter Strike, yeah, but I haven't seen him Death since Dog. the um, since the Blizzard launch event. So I don't know if he's even still playing. Can anyone confirm deny that? That'd be great. Uh, like playing Counter Strike? No, nah, playing um, Overwatch. Overwatch. So he went and played. I saw him in the um, the open beta, and then I saw him. He was playing at the launch event, and then I just disappeared after that. So. Like he's just is there as a guest. I don't think he's ever intended being serious. I think he I he, retired. I he's yeah, gaming. I think, he up, I think he hung up the mouse a while ago. Hung um. up the mouse. 
As I remember the, the good old days of Counter Strike Source, me and Mick were back in there and the old Got Games era. The Death Dog. On, uh, yeah, I remember Homo, Homo did that awesome video that I loved watching with the cool music. Go check it out. It's Death Dog 2, I think. If you've. Uh, I remember uh, well, the one. Obviously, watch it after this game, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go watch it now. Don't turn off the stream just yet, but uh, afterwards. I think I, I've still got the original on the original one on my hard drive. I because it got taken down from YouTube because of song of copyright issues with songs because I had like Slipknot and uh, a couple other bands in there. Anyway, that's getting away from our uh, over <laughs> Overwatch game. We got on a massive tangent here, reminiscing about old times in Counter Strike. But we're here with the grand final of the Zowie Gamestar playoffs, which is Untitled Spreadsheet and e uh, Chiefs Esports once again in the finals, the same as last week. But we have. Untitled as the number one seed this time around, but Chiefs as the second seed. So Chiefs are going to be looking to reclaim their number one position, boys. Yeah, they'll be they'll be definitely looking up to get up there. And the Chiefs, they they haven't been number week for number one for a couple of weeks now, I think. So they really would like to get back there and reclaim that top spot again. Um, we've actually just got the the um, the list of the maps they'll be playing in this best of five here. So it's going to start in Dorado, and then we're going to Nepal. Li Jiang Tower, Route 66, and finishing off with Hollywood. So Nepal and Li Jiang Tower back to back. So that's going to be a really, really crazy couple of maps back yeah. to back. Chiefs voting in Nepal because we saw with um, in the map pool for the last game, Chiefs against uh, Jam Gaming, Nepal was in that pool too. Okay. So Mick, do you know anything about the Chiefs picking up like Nepal? Um, I like it's just a. It's a nice map to play, I think. Um, Nepal and Li Zhang are really the best two of the King of the Hill maps. I don't really like the Iliwas or how you pronounce it map very much. But uh, Nepal is just a, yeah, it's a good fun map. Like um, from my experiences playing on it, I've always had fun um, on all three stages. So yeah, it's just a really fun map to play. It's Gets a bit, it gets a bit gritty. Like you, it's like a turn it into a bit of a dog fight where it's like a bit chaotic. Um, but no, it's yeah, really, really fun, enjoyable map to play. And maybe um, whoever was doing the drafting, maybe their team felt more comfortable taking it to King of the Hill maps over payload maps. But I think both these teams are pretty well rounded on on both those payload uh, to um, control point payload, the hybrid maps and the and the um, King of the Hill maps. So. I don't know. Maybe they just wanted something different. You know, maybe they've prepared it in scrims or something. But here we go. So, we got a mixed bag of maps though, as uh, LG was saying. Dorado up first, just the payload, and then Nepal, King of the Hill, then the Lijang, another King of the Hill, Route 66 with payload, and then a uh, hybrid with Hollywood. So a good mix here. So not sitting in one map mode for the entire length of the series. Yeah, oh, I mean, and, uh, yeah, that reminds sorry, me, God. guys. Uh, mm -hmm. Next week's maps uh, for the uh, the qualifiers, the Zowie Games, the Overwatch League qualifiers on Monday night, uh, we've got no King of the Hill maps. So it's all about the assaults and, uh, and uh, sorry, the hybrid and the payload maps. So uh, that reminds me, uh, registrations are already open for Monday night. So if you've uh, caught the fire uh, watching tonight's playoffs and you reckon uh, you can beat one of these teams uh, and uh, get your hands on some of the cash, uh, registrations are open for week three. Take it away. Thank you very much, Crisis. And you can go there with battlefy.com forward slash GameStar. So register now. Uh, every time you play, even if you don't qualify the playoffs, you still get points that go into your overall league tally, which if you make it into the top eight, you will be invited to the league finals, in, which is several weeks away, which will be awesome with $7,000 plus in uh, prizes. So uh, in, in merch and cash, whatever. We, uh, we have the full list there. Prices will go in details later. But uh, Zowie giving a big prize pool here for no shout out Overwatch. So we have Untitled Spreadsheet here on the defense. We have Chiefs on the offense. And we once again see similar setup from every team here. Symmetra is in place, so reps on the Symmetra here. 
Yeah, I think uh, I think it's 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 definitely a, it's definitely a, a interesting pick. Mix saying that's sort of going a bit out of flavour in the uh, overseas. We're still playing it here on I mean, these very very long uh, maps. We have to walk the way back. So Symmetra really uh, really good on this map. A lot of a lot of alleyways and places that she can hide in, put turrets and put that teleporter down as well. So pretty uh, pretty standard pick in the in the meta here at the moment of the season. So if we see how our spreadsheet plays. Uh, Mick, we've got um, a good similar setup from every team here, so you expect big things here from um, Untitled Spreadsheet? Um, well, they've read uh, Chiefs really well, actually. The Chiefs did this exact same strat against the Jam Gaming, sort of holding up this top point before they push them through that staircase. So, yeah, it looks like uh, Untitled Spreadsheets have got it locked down, although GMB does go down. We're going down along with Mosh here, hey Katie, picking up that kill. The Rez comes in though, for uh, Uncovered Spreadsheet, having two players back up. Raz gets a kill here on Ori. People, people respawning though from the Chiefs, They're just coming back into the fight. And still on top of the high ground, Chiefs slowly sneaking in, but GMB gets a kill here on Aporia. Mosh holding up that shield as Yuki's flying over the top, trying to get a pick on the Snowblind. Zellog runs away here as Winston goes up on top here for the Chiefs with Ori pushing back one title guys back into the courtyard and back on top of the payload. Yeah, I really enjoy watching GMB's Roadhog. He just plays it so precisely. He knows when to stay back and to get it and just hook from distance and then when he needs to push up and play aggressively and get a hook on the back line. So really, really effective on this Roadhog at the moment. Jim, uh, so GMB and he's, uh, he's got his ult. They push forward up here into the balcony. Ori's forced to hit his Winston ult. Jumps back into the fight though on top of Mosh. Got a Reaper down here on top of the payload. Trying to hit the back line. And Ori goes in again on top of Mosh. Raz and Ori both picking up kills here for their teams. And going forward down the stairs as Mosh falls down. But Raz gets a kill on top of Ori. Kill for kill at the moment. Hey Katie gets a kill on Rez. On Rez. As the Rez comes in here. People are all back alive on Untitled Spreadsheet. Forcing out the Chiefs. Yeah, the, the Chiefs being pushed back there slightly, but I think they'll be happy with that. Um, oh my goodness, no one's going in. He gets a double kill there, the Zaya on the top of that, they're bleeding up, and we thought they were getting forced back to come back in, and they bleed up here. People still have like their title, the Mosh holds up that shield, he's trying to get his team back in, the Hog's Breath coming in there in the background, Green Bay's alive, and he gets the hook there, but he's going down. Big things from the Chiefs there. Yeah, I just want to come in really quickly before this next fight starts up. Hey Katie, that fight was instrumental in making sure that the Chiefs pushed up and actually got that. She came around the back and destroyed the Symmetra teleporter extremely early on, forcing uh, forcing Spreadsheet to be careful with their initiation. And then she went in again and forced the Mercy Res as well, just through position. Really good usage of the rocket. So, uh, Katie definitely the player to push the. Um, over the line that fight. Uh, congratulations to you, hey Katie. You're picking up a uh, all years instrumental award of the game already five minutes in. So <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. She's my vote. The fire top here on top of the balcony. TMB forced back here with Ori slapping away, but he's jumped back and jumped back and forth. He's just he doesn't know where he wants to land at the moment. Yeah, it went a little bit crazy there. He used the ult, didn't really use it effectively though, uh, did he? So unfortunately that's down and at the moment, the red sheet have four ultimates ready to go. This is how we're getting on top here with um, Henry just the bop here. Refs is trying to dash away here on the skate. Snowblind says, "Not your all, go back to Scarab." Beautiful work there. As the right on ult is just being wasted. Yeah, just sort of threw it down, almost thinking that they were gonna, you know, just. Uh, Stop them all coming in through the point, but unfortunately didn't really end up following up with anything. So the Chiefs in a really good position here. They've got three ults up ready to go, including the uh, Mercy Res. And Snowblind is really having a great game along with Hey Katie. Well, they've managed to get back, so Mosh maybe will run that old fear coming in. He's a team come back, and the Res comes up. King's alive here on top of the payload. Who's going to sound very popular the Chiefs? The hell files full. Oh, all split up at the moment as Gems is centering themselves here. And Raz picks up a double kill. GMB and Yuki picking up kills too for Untitled Spreadsheet. GMB picks up a double kill. Yeah, really good switch to Nostalgia there for GMB. He's done really well keeping uh, the Chiefs back and stopping this push coming in here. 
Interesting enough, I think GMB on this soldier can have a really big impact um, from distance, obviously, with soldiers. So, it'll be interesting to see if he sticks on it all the way through to the end of this map. Two minutes and 45 seconds left, and the Chiefs still need to get this checkpoint. Hovering around here. Uh, Mick, we've seen teams here struggle before tonight, and we've got them coming around here on the right-hand side. Uh, what do you expect? What do you see from the Chiefs? What do they need to do? They're playing it really interesting actually. They try to like throw four around the back, two around the left, obviously the Barrow Mercy, Pocket Mercy. Um, and they've just sort of like confused um, Untiled Specialty. So that was a really unorthodox attack. Really great res coming out though. Actually, you know, I lied. It was only two men res. So two it looks men. like. So two men res, but the Snowblind picked up the kill there on his Reaper. But hey, Katie goes absolutely ballistic with that Rocket Barrage over the top. Cleaning up house. That attack was just really surprising. Yeah. Like even I was a bit unsure what was going on, and they just executed like the sandwich. Really great. Yeah, they looked yeah. like they were almost split up, didn't they, Mick? And then straight away they had that really good initiation for Turbo getting that pick, and they just pinched it in and collapsed around them. So it's a different, uh, different approach for the Chiefs, but it, hey, it worked out for them for sure. Halo comes up here around to the corner, and we have the high ground here for our top of the Turning up strong with Mosh's shield. Turmo is going down the corridor as well, and he lines them up! He sees the shield go down, he's just whacked them down to the floor, and the rest of the chase swarm on top of them. The rest of them for both teams here. Players are back up, ready to go. And the Lucio ult come down to Mosh hits his ultimate now. And people are down, it's still alive here on the high ground. The you the hook is coming from Yuki though, it hits the ball. On top of the payload right now, Zellog's trying to charge up to whatever, whoever he can. Yuki's there with his load hog. Right in the face of the Chief, pushing them back, he separated the team. Turbo goes in all alone, he's caught out here. He's still alive though, hey Katie's been separated, and good job there from Robo. Yeah, Yuki really came that big, that fight didn't he? And that Roadhog ult pushing the Chiefs off and, and displacing them really, so really good hold there on the side of Spreadsheet. It's coming into the 2 minutes and 30, obviously still a lot to do and Chiefs have 4 ultimates up, including the DPS of uh, KD and Snowblind, so it's going to be tough for them, but Spreadsheet lived to fight another day. Spreadsheet up high once again here, all behind Mosh's shield here as GMB is a bit of a rebel and he switches the soldier here, he's firing away and uh, Oh, no, sorry, you didn't switch that to I'm sorry, I was thinking of Yuki, but Snowblind goes in, in the back line, gets revs here, Erno and Ori getting killed, they're getting kills for the team. The res comes back in, they're all back alive here on top of the Trying to get back around to the payload here as GB is firing away, trying to help, trying to do what he can to push them back. Snowblind's forced back here, the rest of the team is falling down. Oh my god, no, it's not sorry guys, I really need to interrupt. GMB and Yuki, oh mate, that duo is so scary. These two players can play any, like Roadhog, Farrah, Soldier, Sniper, like there's just so much versatility between GMB and Yuki. And also, RQT is, without a doubt, one of the best Mercy players, and you saw that four-man res to switch that fight around, just so strong. Yeah, the Mercy Res really just switched that on its head because the Chiefs did a really great initiation, but it was just counted out completely by RQT's awareness of the Mercy Res. So, yeah, Spreadsheet playing a great game at the moment, holding on to the lot. Watch Shield goes down here, he's forced to drop down. Snowblind, Snowblind pushes him back, but Roadhog Hole coming in from Yuki, pushing people away. The Lucio Holds there popped on both teams as they look to engage here underneath the bridge. All popped here for Ori, gets hooked by Yuki. Helping his back line here. So Chief's still pushing on here, but Raz flies away. Taking down the front along with the help of GMB. Turma ult comes in on his Reinhardt. Charging away there, taking down GMB. Finally, he's gone down. The hook, he gets hooked through the wall. That's a bit weird there. And Ori's jumping on top of him. And hey, Katie, the only one left alive. Yeah, Katie's slowly going to go down as well. That was really, really close, that fight. Turmo. Uh, picking up GMB, but unfortunately getting caught behind enemy lines, uh, Bobby, so wasn't able to do much else after that. And suddenly as we come in, 10 seconds left, gonna be close, they're pushing in to stop them, mate. Yeah, they're this. trying to get in, Snowblind doing what they can, but Yuki and GMB are holding at the entranceway, forcing Chiefs back to the spawn. And Hey Ken is not 
got it. Oh, she just gets there in time. The rocket barrage comes off. And she's cleaning house here. People are forced back to the spawn, but Yuki is pushing people. Good job from AK to get there, but they're not going to be able to make it in time. Good hold here from Antaro Spreadsheet on Dorado. Jeez, that was a clutch hold, wasn't it? They really had to dig deep then. And as as Mick was saying, multiple heroes which is coming out, changing from the Roadhog into into the Soldier, and just the flexibility and RQT's Mercy play and res, Resurrections were just so key to them coming out on top of that fight. See the, the clan trying to play the game die. here. Four person res to RQT. Beautiful job there, keeping his team in the game and. Congratulations to Untitled Spreadsheet, Mick. I already have enough RQT players for my uh, support, top top supports uh, <laughs> in my um, my weekly, or not weekly, sorry, but my um, you know my series of top players. I've already got enough RQT players, but that was amazing. Um, I really loved how at the end there, um, Untitled Spreadsheets played really far forward. It was just like totally unorthodox. Another surprise. Well, like sort of rever reverse surprise on the Chiefs who surprised them on the second point. But just that, I don't know if you saw, Yuki picked off um, Zellogs at the start of that fight and there was nine seconds left, that's it, game over. No res, game over. Five on six, no res. Just instru like, sorry, I don't want to use instrumental, but just a really, <laughs> really nice play from Yuki. But the whole team, yeah. just the fact that they were like, all right, let's do something different. We've been playing high ground all this time. Let's go push really far forward. And oh, I was just... Uh, it's so good to watch when, you, when, like, as a caster, you're surprised about what's going on in the game, like, and then you sort of like pick it down and you, and you analyze it a bit afterwards. But yeah, just so good, and, and they executed it so well. Getting that hook on Zellogs at the end there was just the, the game changer for me. Absolutely, it was a, it was a game full of surprises, wasn't it? I mean, that that um, chief split uh, attack coming in onto that la second last checkpoint really threw spreadsheet off, and then. As you said, just the unorthodox style of defense, that really aggressive play, you know, 10 seconds left, pushing up and, you know, possibly had taken the risk of getting caught out and losing the, the payload, but they got the pick and they managed to shut the game out so quickly. So really exciting game for one. It's going to be a great final. Shout out to everyone in Twitch chat joining us for the Zowie game to the Overwatch uh, playoffs here in week number two with uh, this grand final game between Untitled Spreadsheet and the Chiefs. We have the Chiefs now on defense. Let's see what they can do as a successful hold with we saw from Untitled just before. And uh, we've seen, what do you what do you guys think that Chiefs need to do? Mick, what do you think Chiefs just, need to I do? Just to wanted, hold? I mean, I mean, oh, what they're doing friends. is fine. I just wanted to note um, that they've chose the Mercy over the Lucio um, as the healer with the Symmetra. So that's an interesting um, choice of supports. With those reses and those teleports and all G. We've got um, the Vipton coming here in the payload. We've got... Um, what are your thoughts on the, on the no Lucio? Yeah, I mean, the no Lucio is, is obviously a bit, a bit strange in these payloads. You want to be so versatile. He just gives you so much versatility basically for free. We got the McCree coming out again as well, so this is going to be interesting to see how Hey Katie plays his McCree on this defense. Payload oh, there, on title all over that payload. G Mega quickly has the shield on him though. Zara, they all cut move. Reds comes in with Zellog. They're coming in here already. But the, team, the people are dropping like flies on, on the Chiefs here. They're doing what they can to keep them alive. The Res comes in for Untitled. They're just going to be brute forcing this here, this payload. It's pushing up here. Cleaning up everyone on the chain. As we see another really, really important RQT uh, race coming in there to get um, the spreadsheet to keep moving and push this payload all the way up. They may not get it over the line, but I mean, really, really close to the checkpoint now. They're going to come in again. They've got the Reaper roll ready to go with the uh, Zarya roll, so maybe they'll be seeing some, uh, some abilities being linked up here and pushing through to the first checkpoint. Good hold by Chiefs, so they did lose a lot of people quite early on. But they've got four ultimates ready to go as well, so the Chiefs looking really, really strong, really well played by both teams. They hold that, they were going through that Symmetra teleporter, good job from HK to pick up the double kill earlier. Along with Snowblind's assist there, but they're coming in with ults everywhere, the Zyder all with a green, the Reinhardt ult, the Nellie Reinhardt ult, the Ermo, the Reinhardt ult, 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 the
Rex getting a kill for his own, it's no one picked up one of Rex picking up four kills. Huge! That was probably one of the best initiations I've seen in competition. That was so fast, so well coordinated. The communication for them was just completely on point. That was... Nothing. What was that? The mic's just cutting out there. Oh, sorry mate, yeah, just as I was saying before, a really, really good initiation there. One of the best we've seen so far, and Chiefs really couldn't do much about it, just caught out. So they're already on the high point here, the Chiefs wasting no time to get back onto the defense here and put their feet back on the ground. Try and hold off here for the next spot because they need to get this defensive win here. And and the payload moving up, but Yuki goes crazy with that uh, rocket barrage, taking out two people there. So Ori and Termo going down, the res comes in, and back alive for the Chiefs. The defense are uh, ready for the front line here to try and hold it for the Chiefs. And we've got a fight happening just here outside that little courtyard next to the payload. As the ult comes in from Mosh, sending Chiefs, to, sorry, sending, yeah, sending Chiefs to the ground here. Yuki is picking up people left, right, and center. Jeez, Yuki did such a good job then on Farah to, to get all that damage down, but once again, RQT on this Mercy, the, the saviour of keeping him alive, he took so much damage, he went so low. But RQT, once again, his guardian angel, making sure that he stays alive and was able to get all that damage off him. And then, um, six minutes left, Nick, so a lot of time to play for Untitled Spreadsheet. Yeah, I think... They're playing really well as a unit, as always. Yuki's doing a lot of work. RQT got a good race off in the first point. Sadly, they didn't get it, but he hasn't had to use it again. But you can just expect another big res boom. So we'll see as they're about to clash. And it comes around the corner here as we have Mosh with the shield up. People are rallying behind him on the part of spreadsheet. He's looking for Termo here as he's spinning around, but Raz has his ultimate to pop here. And he's been forced back though. Is everyone still alive here on the Chiefs? Doing really quite well there to nullify some ultimate from and how the spread sheet. Lucio all comes in though. As the Zayo all comes in as well as this fall to pay Katie and Ori. Katie's falling in the rocket for on top. Overhand gets a double though. As Mosh gets a big ult on top of the Chiefs. Rez comes in, does not pick up Mosh so he can be in Yuki back to the end. Alt there from Turbo, and the people down to the floor, and Let's back with Mosh here as pushing along here, just past the payload, and looks like they're forcing Chiefs back into the spawn. Yeah, Turbo just got caught in the corner there and went down, he did a good ult, but a lot of it got nullified by the by GMB's uh, shield there on Zarya, and I think they're actually going to push out and finish this off probably. I'm totally fresh here, Turbo. Just missed that on the Diva. Good job by them. Yeah, Spreadsheet coming up 2-0 against the Chiefs in the really exciting Dorado matchup. And geez, that was that that was just ex go. Yeah, Raz getting the plan, trying to play the game here oh, on the replay. Watch this. Look at this initiation. Oh my god, that is just disgusting. That's like in a blink right there, blink of your eye and you're already back at your spawn waiting in the kill cam. And Raz doing Wonderstreet's team, best kill streak 21 for Raz. Yeah, that's, that's huge, you just really strung them together one after the other, but I mean, all the all the spreadsheet boys played really, really well, so really, really well deserved. Two points there for the spreadsheet boys. Five minutes 14 is the time set there, Mick, by Untitled Spreadsheet on Dorado. Yeah, it's fast, isn't it? Yeah, that was good. The, I feel like the meta really suits these guys at the moment. Like they don't like to run sniper. Even though Yuki can play sniper, they don't like to run it. Um, well, actually, sorry, Yuki can play good sniper. So I was going to say that the fact that they can't play sniper is favouring them. But Raz, well, I think Reaper is a little bit strong right now, and Raz does so much work on Reaper. Everyone knows that he only plays Reaper. Otherwise, you know, he doesn't queue up. Um, but it's untitled spreadsheets. They just play so well as a unit. Like they've had a pretty steady roster. They've only swapped one player since I've known them to play in competitions, which is Yuki, who obviously made an impact straight away, coming in as the Farah, who just does way too much work. And but the whole team, like 
I said RQT just gets amazing reses off and uh, like he didn't really need it there on attack. He got the one good res off at the start, but they didn't cap it. But like on defense, just uh, their team's so strong. Uh, I, I don't know. It's so hard to to beat them. And I feel like uh, we're playing, uh, Chiefs aren't playing their strongest lineup, obviously, because Dorky's not playing um, in place of Ori. I feel like Zelgs has definitely stepped up since last week. I feel like if Dorky was playing, it would be a totally different game and it would be um, like a lot closer again. And we're here on Nepal. We haven't seen too much from Nepal here in competitive Overwatch. So what do you boys expect to see from the teams here on Nepal? Well, on these Cap King of the Hill maps, there's obviously a lot of a lot of Winston, a lot of these really, really aggressive picks. Uh, the occasional Tracer coming in as well. Zarya's uh, really, really effective on these really tight uh, enclosed corridors and sections where the point is. Uh, what about you, Mick? What, what do you expect to see? Um, well, we've got the exact same lineups except for Genji and Tracer, which is actually, I feel like Tracer's a little bit stronger than Genji on this point, um, but very standard lineup. The other five characters are absolutely standard on um, King of the Hill at the moment. Like, you just cannot swap. The only thing you can do is swap, like, Tracer, Farah, Genji, and, and I, I mean, the, meta, the, sta the meta's not stale, but... Well, I guess I, you know, I'm saying it is stale, but it's it's, <laughs> it's, it's it's definitely funner than duplicate heroes. Don't get me wrong, sure. but yeah, it it is very those sort of four or five are core. You can maybe swap um, Winston on other points for like a Roadhog, um, but yeah, very very standard lineup except for Genji and Trace, obviously. Love the Twenty-three man. seconds kicking down teams until the point unlocks teams. They're already engaging here as. Going straight onto the shrine point here, and we have them not fully engaging, but going half and half as Genji goes into the back line here. The EB is going right into the face of the Chiefs, but he's fallen down the snow blind, but the Untitled are capping at the moment. Oh. 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 The way before it stops here, but getting kills, or in slow way getting kills instead of Hermo going there. But people have been raised here, but the Chiefs step up on. And they're going to clear off Untitled. Gee, that was a really good uh, res there by Zelgs to get the Chiefs back into that fight. They were looking dead and buried after the Dark QT res, and Zelgs coming in his own res, putting him back on. So the Chiefs getting his first point and getting their first real uh, real first blood of this game. We have Untitled rallying up to get back in here. Yuki on the Genji, getting ready to dash in as Mosh. Goes straight in the head first on the Winston. Straight onto the point. Lucio's on both sides hitting their ultimate. We have Ori slapping away. If we've got a Zarya ult, capturing Rez on the Red and uh, into the middle here. Oh, sorry, Raz and Red. As they're fighting him, Snowblind hitting his ultimate. Zarya ult falls them all, and the Chiefs are caught in it, but they still managed to keep the alive. Man, they did so well there. They were fighting while being pulled in for that uh, gravity surge as well. So really well played there by the Chiefs mechanically. But at the moment, they're just looking too strong. We've known the Chiefs have been, you know, obviously the first few weeks of Overwatch, they were, they were really gods of the King of the Hill spectrum. And even now, you can see their experience is really shining through. Back onto the point here for Untitled Spreadsheet. Pushing in here on top of the Chiefs as we have Ori. Jumping back in, jumping back into it, pushing RQT off here. The Mosh is with his ultimate, trying to slap away here. And the Untitled Spreadsheet swarm the Chiefs here. Snowblind is still alive. Long with AK, dashing around with the Chaser. Warrior, they push away from the King Lucio. And Untitled Spreadsheet have cut the point. Yeah, that was just some really good aggressive play and use of the ult, uh, ultimates there. Raz doing a really good Death Blossom, not necessarily for the damage on the side of uh, Spreadsheet. Using a more as a zoning tool, you keep the Chiefs at bay. So they finally got their points uh, spreadsheet and they're on the board. Yeah, they're going around here with the flank of KKD and the Poria and Ori on the side here. Zelda and Termo at the back here with Snowblind. Ori is all alone here trying to do what he can. And uh, he's jumped in here at the back, trying to go on the back line, but Mosh does the same here, trying to go for Zelongs. But um, Mosh and Snowblind are both falling down. Raz picks up that kill. As Ori's hit his ultimate here on the Winston, trying to jump on top of Braves. Doesn't work though, as he's been left alone, but the Zarya ult comes in, swallowing Chief's ult, and everyone is being killed here with the separation of Ori and Orlok. That was some really good synergy there by GMB and uh, and so Yuki to get that ult off as well. Really well played there. 
Thread Sheet actually looking ahead at the moment. They were looking like they were struggling a lot, and then there was just that really one good effective push that they had. Uh, and at the moment, the, the scores are always going to be level by the time that this action starts, I'd say. Back on, back on the point here with Raz hitting the Reaper ultimate, forcing people away, but they suck all here with the value. Oh, everyone getting cleaned up here. But the rest comes in from RQT, bringing the boys back to life. So, untitled Fred Sheet in there. Hot on the heels with all the Chief players here, but everyone falling left, right, and center. Great red there. Oh god, I hate RQT. I hate to play against them, hey. It's so yeah. bad. Every time it's My a four or five man red, it's like, I swear that's their strategy. Like, death ball, five players My die, get the five man res off every time. Bomb is he's so good at hiding away as well. Like, you look out, try and find him, you just can't find him, then he's there, so. He's well, well, angry right now as their ultimates are unleashed and Ari on the back line of. Oh, uh, I'm titled Bridget. He's gonna get people off the point, but I can see dashing around, keep people alive here, hovering around, and Yuki pops the ultimate that kicks the pillar though. No help there as Ori falls down, but Moss is doing great work here for Moss. Jeez, that was some really good coordination there by Spreadsheet, wasn't it? To hold out that point once they got a grasp on it eventually. They had some trouble getting in, but. Once they were in, they were really tough to... They, they swapped from Genji to Farah. That's what I felt like was the game changer when they swapped Yuki onto, onto the Farah. I just... I don't know. I, I didn't think Genji was that strong there against the Tracer anyway. I always would give it to Tracer in, on that map. Like, as soon as they switched to Farah, that was it. It was over. Getting ready to select their characters. Not too many different. We still have Yuki on the Genji. We're still favoring that, but Head Katie is switched to a McCree, guys. See, what do you think about this McCree pick me? I think McCree is pretty good on King of the Hill. Um, on this point, it's really hard for a Mercy to get in a good position because it's all the fight in the, in the dojo, and the dojo is so small. So I think, uh, well, they're going hard. Yeah, they're here on the uh, other side of the map here on the far side. Right back here, that little swine. We've got Ori. Jumping up and down in that Winston and trying to bait people in. He's gone in, but he's had on the roof down. And on from Kalki. So, but people, people have dropped here. Snowblind and the KK to get killed. The res comes in already from RQ2, but it's not really going to help here if the Chiefs are jumping onto the point. Yeah, the Chiefs are just trying to get onto the point as much as they can. They were, they were, they were trying to sneak on, but. Unfortunately, it looks like the, uh, the Spreadsheet boys couldn't hold on to him, and yeah, she's pushing it in full force now. Uh, Snowball, I've actually been just trying to do it deliberately, but he went on the point and then teleported it off. And um, the Lucio on the side of Spreadsheet went running down there to stop him, but he disappeared and left it by himself. So, I think you teleport play there by Snowball. We have Untitled running around here to the far side, and they've jumped onto the point already. Trying to cap it and it's switching all the way and then it managed to cap it. Uh, it's all kicks alive. Oh, I'm titled, just jump onto the point. Yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it? They were just trying to poke him out a little bit, but then all about the point got taken away from him and it's rich and coming down. Yeah, it's halfway around the circle for the Chiefs. The Zarya ult comes down here and it wants to pop. Several uh, members of Untitled's spreadsheet and more shit is good enough to break out of it. On top of uh, everyone here, there's only three people left alive, two people left alive on the point for Untitled's spreadsheet, and they both fall. Yeah, what actually happened there as well is uh, RQT went in for a res, a three man res, and got ready. caught by Katie's right. flashbang actually. So, a really good pick there by Katie, stopping the res and getting that uh, point back for the Chief was a really good play. And we have 32% in for the Chiefs here, 34 ticking up, Turbo on fire, Katie on fire, Bori on fire. Really glad to this little boy playing for the Untitled Spreadsheet as the shield goes down for the Winston and then looking to fight on top of the point and we have both, <laughs> well I was going to say both Winston if they're off but they haven't because Ori just jumps around with his ultimate, flattened people away, Turbo picks up a kill, Snowball picks up a double kill there. Yeah, Snowblind just in the back line, just shredding people at the moment. Is it Reaper? Really good awareness to just stay in the back and sneak around and get a couple of good picks. And the Chiefs at the moment looking really, really strong on this point. They've got three, to, uh, three ultimates up as well, Bobby. So they're in a really good position here in this higher ground with 72% gone. 
I'm looking to hold strong here to capture the next point and put it into a, uh, a tiebreaker here on King of the Hill, forcing it to a third third uh, round on the last checkpoint as they clean them up here as Untitled Spreadsheet are looking to be just leading in a little bit at the moment. Yeah, so that last shot kicked off there and they're, they're looking to go in, but they need to just kill their ultimates. We've got three of them up and they have to go now, they've got no choice. And only a few seconds left here as they're trying to get into the point and it's almost a cut off way. The Chiefs are coming back now and the Lucio wants to go in here. Rock up the inside the point, maybe it's still on the rest comes in from RTP. Pap is still happening, but there's a Winston on the point jumping up and down. And then here it goes, they've managed to cap it. Zellers almost made it back in, but there's the people of those who cheap, so they're back alive, but uh, I'll tell us they should keep getting that cap. Yeah, they got the cap off the back of a really good res there by RQT, but it's not over yet. Winston's going nuts on each other. HBA action, let's go. Yeah, and uh, Tidal's still alive here at this point, but Ori's having none of that. He's trying to send him back to spawn, but he, uh, but they've got a Tracer here now for you to assist Tracer dashing around. Switch from the Genji. Yeah, switch from the Genji wasn't really working out how he'd like, so he's gone to the Tracer now, just trying to offer some of that backline harass. And, yeah, at the moment, it's close. 99% to stick. Five will be gone anyone's game at the moment. Uh, it's ticking up and up, but the Chiefs have jumped on here. The well, Untitled are ready to contest and stop the Chiefs from capping as the fight breaks up on the inside here. The Chiefs didn't realize half the team was in there and they got caught out there by Untitled Spread Chief. The healers are um, down here for Untitled and the Chiefs, so no healers in play or no mercies in play as uh, they're fighting here, so whoever's dying is going back to spawn. Mosh is electrocuting Ori here, he's forced back, AKD dashes him in the tracer, trying to get back there, but they're picking up, 94% here from Tunnel Spreadsheet, 95 is picking up, as the Chiefs get back in here, they're trying to cap it back, but on Tunnel Spreadsheet, pop their Lucio on, and they go in here, that's enough for uh, Mosh to understand that he's going to hit his fists and all, cut people off, Zellers get the res though, Chiefs are back in it though, on top of here, as the Zion goes in, swallows four people whole, they try to slap him down, but the Lucio, and He's trying to charge up his ultimate, and he's on 61%, but the cap is coming in from side of the sheet. And Zellum just goes to dash him, but Cox is in his wife, and he thinks he comes in now, and they try to cap, but people are coming back slowly from the cheap. He's trying to get back in here, as Untitled Spreadsheet finally cap at the bar, sticking away, and Lucio Aporia jumps in there, he keeps getting alive, oh my god, is still a tracer around somewhere. Oh, man. God, they managed to hold that in. No, I'm gonna drink of, yeah. I'm gonna drink of water, Bobby. I think you're gonna oh, need it, mate. Dude, they went back and forth. They went back and forth 99%. They were juggling that. It was like hot potato 99%. So close. Really well bought there by uh, my spreadsheet to get that in the end. Um, Zellog's getting the play of the game for this big three man race through the point, but I think it's pretty safe to say that. Uh, RQT that game, two really huge reses to make sure that the team kept in and that's been the deciding factor for a lot of these games I think so far, his reses have just been next level tonight. And Mick we see Untitled Spreadsheet advance with two maps over the Chiefs now, so Chiefs need to get a win on this map here. Yeah, so just throw throw to Mick as well quickly. Uh, what 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 are your thoughts on that match there? What did you find was the turning point for those fights? Yeah, the tracer definitely. Like you played Genji started sorry Yuki started Genji both maps and then obviously switched to tracer and I feel like Tracer's a way better pick there. I don't know what he was thinking. Genji's not as great on those maps. Um, he's definitely a lot stronger on Li Zhang um, than Tracer anyway. Well, at least like if it's a a choice between Tracer and Genji, I would give it to Tracer on all of those points and the part, all three points I'd give it to Tracer. Um, and as we saw, Yuki wasn't having any success in Genji, switched to Tracer and they won, so Tracer's the game changer. Nah. Um, 
again, yeah, big reses from RQT, as always. Oh, he's so annoying to play. I couldn't... Like, I haven't played much against Untitled Spreadsheets, but he just seems so <laughs> annoying to play against. Yeah. He always well, consistently I gets big reses every week, every game, so... Yeah, Lee Zhang, I'm hoping now they Prepare play the game too. Now it's a bit more um, viable than the than the Tracer. Well, just quickly before we go into the team, what's the big difference do you think between Genji and Tracer on these two maps here? Well, actually, Genji's not that great on this point here. It's more like the um, uh, the versatility, like on let's say on the second point where it's like that that the outside pondy. I don't even know what you call it, but you know, Genji can oh, double with jump. The bridges. Yeah, oh, yeah. Genji can double jump over. He can climb up the wall at, in, and inside to the point with the window. Outside to the point with the window. It's just got lots of exits, lots of vertical um, exits, and what yeah, just for? that's why I find him really useful here. I actually think Farah is probably better than Tracer and, and Genji here. Neither team are running the Farah. Tracer is pretty good. I still would rate it. In it. If I had to pick the three, it would be Farah, then Tracer, then Genji. Um, but we can see the teams have opted for Tracer and Genji, so we'll see how it works out. And takes away, and we have RQT on that mercy. Would you say RQT is having a crazy game here, OG? Oh, I think there's no question, mate. He's playing as skin as, as Mick said. It is extremely frustrating when you're versing such a good mercy player like this. Because the resurrections really do just shut down everything you do. But I mean, credit to him. He's played it really, really well tonight, and a lot of the success and spreadsheets down his shoulders. And. G and B, Mosh, Raz, all picking up kills here for Untitled Spreadsheet. Already off the bat, they've got three kills for their side, and the cap has already happened. Yeah, that was just ruthless aggression, wasn't it, mate? Just went in there completely, just destroyed everyone on the chief seat. Just got caught a little bit caught out. And um, at the moment, Spreadsheet back in the driver's seat, ready to go. And we have Spreadsheet holding on strong here at the moment. The Chiefs are on the outside. The res comes in, you can back on the Genji, ready to dash in. Turn on Starlight Ori, all picking up kills though, so the other force, a title there, but the res all comes in, but doesn't really do anything there. That was disappointing. I mean, we saw it a couple of games ago where there's that panic goal where you think you can turn things around if you hit a really good ult, but unfortunately there was no backup. And I think that's actually going to really, really hurt um, Spreadsheet here. Zarya ult takes a quite a long time to charge up, and it's going to be tough for them to push back without the Zarya ult now. They're going to have to just wait it out, and the Chiefs, five ults up to go, so big mistake there by GMB, unfortunately. Tyler and Spreadsheet pushing in, brute force through the front entrance. Here they go. Everyone atop their Lucio ult. They're going in head first. Zarya ult comes in on Motto. Yuki and Raz get caught in it too, but Yuki falls with his kill. Looks the team still up, but Snowblind hits his ultimate along with that Lucio ult on top of it. Sorry, he hit his ultimate in the background there. As people are falling left, right, and center for Untitled Spreadsheet. Yeah, it's a really good play there by Snowblind actually. Getting in there, getting the damage down, and popping the ult as well. Really, really good positioning. So the Chiefs looking a lot better at the moment. I tell you what, unfortunately. GMB still only at 50%. The Chiefs are 50% on their tally too, so the spreadsheet are really going to have to pull something out of the hat if they want to keep this game on. Raz hits an ultimate though, goes right in and takes out two people. Ori comes up with a kill, but Raz has got three people now. Zelig is under pressure here, getting forced away. Yeah, Raz just went huge there, basically going 1v3 and hitting a big ult, getting spreadsheet back in here. and. Yeah, really, really good push there by Raz. Known as a very, very good Reaper player, as, as Mick said. So, well played there for Raz from the Chiefs at the moment. 68%, still in a good position. Just got to work their way back up and try and get the point back up with some poking up. Moving through the front entrance here. He's there while he's just gliding here at the back. And Untitled are ready. They expected them to come through the front. Holding here at the back and pushing them back out to that courtyard. Rinks his court on his own. Tracy dashes in to come help. He's falling down. So has Snowblind and he's Reaper. Oh, he's here in the middle. Chiefs have some casualties in their side though. But the Zarya all comes in anyway. Small and whole Untitled spreadsheet. Still some players left out there. There's casualties on both sides. He's been fighting in the middle here with Winston electrocuting people down. And we got Yuki dashing around here on his Genshi, he's reflecting here, he's, da he's up and down, he's got, he's getting healed here, so they're getting on top of Yuki as he's up in the air, he's 
too hard to deal with as he's just getting people in the back with some super stars. Yeah, they're focusing so hard on getting the uh, get the mercies down because I mean RQT has just been so so strong in these games. They need to focus him to stop the res. But unfortunately, he's completely open to attack. And yeah, ninety nine percent. Here we go. Raz hits an ultimate here on his Reaper along with that Lucio off to help him out. And then he's back in here. Keeps it trying to pile in here. He's got ninety nine percent. I know they've got to get in now and try and do what they can. But it's not working at the moment. As everyone on the title is a wide beside Yuki, but he's pretty small now. He's ready to make his way back. He's Winston knocks Yellow Winston off. Mosh. Good job. Yeah, jeez, that was just that was just they just forced themselves in there with the with the, with the um. Oh, what's his name with the Winston? Come on, I forgot his name. But yeah, getting the ult and just knocking everyone aside there, keeping him off the point. Yeah, really, really great round again from Spreadsheet. Playing out of their skin at the moment. And Mick, it's match point right now. We're on title spreadsheet, so Chiefs are definitely under pressure. Yeah, and what can they do? Like they're pulling out the McCree. I think that's a, I think that's a too risky pick. Um, but it looks like they're gonna stay with it. And Yuki's staying true with the Genji. I really thought he was gonna swap after they, the, they lost the point and um, back to Farah, but we'll see. He loves the Genji. Um, Genji's good on this map actually because that vertical uh, distance. Um, on, on, on the um, open, you know, the open area. We are at match point here in the Zowie game star Overwatch League. Playoffs in week number two here in your grand final between Uncovered Spreadsheet and the Chiefs Esports Club. So we're on Lee Jane Tower. Here on Total Spreadsheet. In this point, they will take the grand final and victory with them today. And then pushing onto the point here. Chiefs are the first one to try and cap it here as it's going around the circle. But not going to make it as on top of Freshly Force in the back the red comes in from Zoran just picking up Snowblind and Ori. It's GB trying to fire away here. Raz and Mosh get a kill each as Snowblind picking up a strong Raz. Raz comes in from RQT. Everyone's back alive here. Ready to cheat as well. I can't expect it as RQT falls though. And then picking up kills everywhere. Yeah, Yuki got a couple of really important resets there on the Genji. Managing to slice his way through uh, two people on the Chiefs there and managed to cap this point. Yeah, Untitled Spreadsheet, they're 5-0 up in points at the moment, as you said, Bobby Match Boy, and then Chiefs, they're making, making some big work of it now at the moment against the Chiefs. Chiefs are uh, under the pop, and they're jumping in on the, uh, on the checkpoint here. They're going to the server room, though, but on the right-hand side of the map. <laughs> what side of it was to get the camera angle prices he's got, but on my side's on the right-hand side anyway. Well, Ori pops his pops his Winston off, trying to slap people away here, trying to get RGT to single him out, but he dashes just in time as oh, he's swarmed by a Zarya ult here. Everyone's kept alive though by that Lucio ult here. And then sometimes he pops up here as they're firing away here and untitled spray shared at cleaning house. Man, that was such a good ult there by the Chiefs that gravity well, but Coming in the save of the day with Yuki on that Genji, getting some two really important resets and then popping the Dragon's Blade. Triple kill for him. Jeez, that was that was really, really well played there and a tight position there for Spreadsheet. They need to come out and pop him out. Okay, he gets the kill there. He's in Hey Caddy lurking on the outside with the high moon ready to go. So, got the alarm set to 12. He uh, fires up here. But uh, she's been caught by Raz. Oh, Raz Brad. picks up a triple kill. He can get the kill in the back there too. Top of Snowblind, Ori gets a kill there on Rex. And Ori's uh, got his ultimate popped here on the Winston, but he's forced away. Yeah, that was an excellent ult there by Raz. He knew that he had the time, he knew that he had the space for it, and he just jumped in, pressed Q and Death blossomed everywhere. So really good push there by him. Chiefs, now have a mountain to climb at the moment. 5-0 down at 85%. Hey, Katie, you got that ult. Snowblind with the ult. Maybe a miracle combo can bring him into this game, but they've got to get Mercy, otherwise it's all over. 93% and Mercy tidying up the top though. So RQT is ready to res everyone up his edge. Chiefs are swarming on top of the uh, checkpoint here. Heroes the never point, but the res comes in, dashing over the top, and everyone's back alive here. GB is ready to come back from the spawn. Everyone's been spoiled hole here. As everyone's gone to the shit like that. Everyone's back in the ring again. As the Zyol gets on the RPT, he's caught there on the other side. That Zyol comes nowhere. Yeah, unfortunately, not the Zyol you wanted. GG to spreadsheet 6-0. Jeez, that is a very, very dominant display over the Chiefs.
Yeah. Oh, yeah. play the game with Raz with a Death Blossom uh, for sure here. Oh, he's, he's the one right near the end, boys. Yeah, really good use of just Oh, he's just a water domination. Here it comes. Yeah, well, we don't need to see it. We all know what happened. The end, but uh, yeah, wow. Spreadsheet, yeah, 6 0, just coming out massive on top of the Chiefs. Really, really uh, good team play coming out from. Mick, congratulations uh, indeed to Spreadsheet. What are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, just they play so well as a team and their ultimate usage is just so good. Like, uh, uh, it was it was that moment uh, in for Toronto, example. Yeah. I'll give yeah. I'll give you a for example, right? Um, so normally if you're playing with Lucio Mercy and they both have ults and the other team has Zarya ult, you want to save the Mercy ult. Uh, sorry, you want to save the Lucio ult for the Mercy res. So you kind of like get sucked into the Zarya ult, you get team wiped. Mercy comes in and resurrects, right? But um, RQT got caught in the Zarya ult, and then it was like, okay, well, we know that the Mercy's in a shit position here, could die, so we'll use the Lucio ult. It's just like little things like that. Like every single time, it, if you get caught in a Zarya ult and you have Mercy res, you want to save the Lucio ult until Zarya wipes the team, and then you get the Mercy res, and then you get the Lucio ult. But the fact that it was like, okay, Mercy's caught out, Lucio ult, it was just just little things, man. Their ultimate usage is just so good. And yeah, it's hard it's hard it's hard to see anyone beating them for a little while anyway. Um, because their teamwork just looks so good. And um, yeah, just you can't fault them at the moment. Like I don't I don't know what they <laughs> like what's what's their you know, what's their weak link? They got such a strong team. Um, I think yeah, uh, I think as you said I mean, the point that that push that they did on Dorado was probably exemplified their teamwork the, to the most. Like, that was such a good initiation there. The communication needed to time, they basically did four ultimates within the space of one second of each other, and they timed it absolutely perfectly. And you can see it the way that they move, the way that RQT floats around the map from player to player. Like, their communication is on just such, it's on next level, and you can see it coming through in their team play as well. I mean, obviously, they've got some really good players, you know, in terms of, you know, um, just like the DPS coming out from them. Um, but, I mean, the communication for me is what's really setting them apart from everyone else at them. And with that, yeah, with that um, point given there by OG, it's uh, time to select our Plantronics MVP for the match. The nominee will be going into the draw for the Plantronics Rig 500 HD 7.1 gaming headset. OG, who is your nominee? I don't think it's going to come as a surprise for me. I don't know if Mick's going to have a different opinion, but for me, RQT, player of the series, that game, time and time again, they were in situations where they looked dead and buried, and he would swoop in and change the game around. Um, there was multiple points when they really needed him to come up big and hit those big reses, and it wasn't just the reses too. His healing was really good, and his damage and his movement was really, really great. So RQT for me is player of the series. And Mick? Yeah, I was a bit confused when you said on the first point of Lee Jung, RKT is playing out of his skin. I was like, that's a normal game for him. Right? <laughs> but I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll be honest, look, I, as a Mercy player as well, and, and don't get me wrong, total credit to RKT, but I, I really hate the flying to dead body thing. I really think Blizzard need to take that out of the game. It would just make Mercy... A, they don't need to nerf her ultimate charge at all. Just not being able to fly to dead bodies would definitely change the, dy no, the dynamic of the game. Um, but yeah, total, I'd give it to RQT for sure. He's just absolute star on, on Mercy. And I, I, I would say at the moment with Ori, who's fallen off of um, support, and Doza, who's, uh, I mean, Doza's a really, probably, you know, one of the best Mercy players there is. I, I, if I had to pick like a number one, I'd, I'd probably say RQT. Just, he just seems so consistent. It's almost like, um, don't get me wrong, your team's a big part of it, like your team going in, dying as a collective and dying in, in in line of sight of the Mercy so that she can fly towards to get the Mercy res as well is, is important. But just it seems like they've figured that out so well, and that's a key. It's like their key strategy. It's like they'll save their ultimates, they'll get team wipes, they'll get res, and then they'll use their ultimates. It's kind of like just an intentional I'm going to die and just get res strategy, um, and it's, it really works for them. Um, and just, yeah, great positioning from RQT. He's so sneaky.
And with that, we're going to start wrapping up. We'll bring Crisis here shortly as you can follow me on Twitter at the underscore Bobby J and you have at go Matt Flack for all G and we have at GameStar on Twitter and you can follow Mick. Uh, I think it's like four seasons gaming. Is that correct on Twitter? Yeah, the number four. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the old number <laughs> four. And with those Twitter handles there, we'll wrap it up with the Zowie GameStar Overwatch uh, League here with the playoffs. We've got Untitled Spreadsheet. Once again, your victors this week. And uh, Crisis, what do you think of those games? Yeah, that was a terrific display of skill and cohesion from Untitled Spreadsheet. You know, we build this grand final as uh, the third... Uh, well, uh, coming into it, Untitled Spreadsheet had won three grand finals over Chiefs Esports uh, Club. And would this one be the continuation of that form or would Chiefs be able to claw one back? And no, nope, emphatic victory by Unti uh, Untitled Spreadsheet with a 6 So We've got to draw the raffle winner. So uh, I'm just going to do that very, very quickly. Close the raffle off. No more entries allowed. And uh, draw the winner. And straight away it goes to Car Kicker Carrot Cake. Um, who is a stream follower. So uh, congratulations to you, Ke Ka Carrot Cake. Make sure you message me. Just message uh, GameStar TV, uh, GameStar TV1 here on, um, on Twitch, and we'll sort out uh, your details so we can get a T-shirt over to you. And uh, a quick announcement. So we, talk, we like to talk a lot about the power rankings coming into these matches. Uh, always a point of interest. And um, we are having a bit of a change in the panel. So we've had Ori decide to step back from the panel after being with it uh, right from the start. Um, he's uh, looked after us for about a month, I guess. Um, and so we're looking for a fourth panelist to take his place. Uh, your qualifications, we'd prefer if you are a player from one of the top four teams. Maybe the top five will extend it to there. So uh, at any rate, a high level player um, and, uh, you know, uh, you've got to have your uh, analysis uh, capability right up there so that you can uh, make those picks. Uh, the other thing that you must have coming into the panel is a flame retardant suit because you will get flamed for your opinions, but it is your opportunity to talk about some of the top players and the top teams in the regions. Um, so if you are interested in that, just uh, hit me up, uh, Crisis, uh, GameStar Crisis on Twitter, um, or here, yeah, iCrisis uh, on Twitch, um, or just drop into our Discord and uh, let us know that you're interested. Uh, well, that's it for the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, it has been a fantastic week number two. We'll update the Zowie leaderboard as soon as we can with the bonus points that are won tonight. Congratulations to all the teams that made it through to the semifinals. You pick up an extra point each. And, of course, Untitled Spreadsheet will get that point uh, for making it, uh, making it through to being the grand final winner. Um, and they are now firmly in the lead uh, for that number one spot in the Zowie GameStar Overwatch League. Uh, with an eye on the grand final in the league finals coming up uh, in the first week of August. It's going to be a cracker. It's been fantastic having you here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for joining us, Bobby, Jay, All G, and Mix05. And a special thanks to Wolfie uh, looking after the admin all night. This is the GameStar Production Crew signing out.